it's Wait. noticeable. <laughs> Flip the camera around, I want to see. Hey boys, it's National Teen Read Week. We're asking people what they're reading. So what book are you reading, Norma? Delirial. Do you know who wrote that? Garth Nix. I'm reading A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. It's the second book in the Game of Thrones series. Yeah, it's pretty good. Otherwise, I wouldn't read it. It's really long. This week, I'm reading Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. It's in a guide to survive a zombie apocalypse. I'm reading Don Quixote. It's about a crazy knight who goes around and kills people on accident. Um, well, sort of on purpose, but he's crazy, so he thinks it's a good reason. But it's really not. I'm reading a book called A Thousand and One Horrible Facts, and it's got a very bad in it. Um, well, right now I'm reading a book called The First Part Last by Angela Jackson. Yes, I'm reading Survival. It's about this uh, submarine and it's a real thriller. Hey, Dave, did you know it's National Teen Read Week? Yes, it is. So, what are you reading? The OC, Meet the Superstars. It's, it's National Teen Reading Week at LCHS. Yeah. Lincoln County's 7th Annual Homecoming Dance Autumn Nights Masquerade Ball is Saturday, October 20th at 7 p.m. until 10 in the LCHS Gymnasium. Advanced ticket prices are singles $15 and a couple is $25. All tickets sold the night of the dance will be $20 each. Ticket price includes professional DJ, all food and drinks, great decorations, and fun, fun, fun. Advanced tickets will go on sale soon. Dress requirements, semi-formal, special occasion clothes, professional homecoming dance photos are available. Hmm, sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm going to go. It's homecoming week this week, and we have, for Tuesday, we have softball at the softball field, and if the weather is nice, and volleyball in the gym if it is raining. Wednesday, we have an ultimate frisbee or kickball at the field next to the grave lot. Thursday. <laughs> gravel <yeah>. lot. <laughs> that says gravel lot, doesn't it? Okay. That was a misfire. Let's keep going. <laughs> Wednesday, we have ultimate frisbee or kickball at the field next to the gravel lot. Thursday, we have free volleyball game at 5.30. Bonfire after the game. Free food. Mm -hmm. Sounds yummy, right? No? You don't, like, you don't like school food? I think they do a good job. And Friday, we have a tailgate party at the gravel lot. <laughs> Food will be available for purchase. We had a nice day yesterday for America Day, which was red, white, blue, hillbilly, blah, blah, you know. But today is no versus prep day. Wednesday will be generation day. Freshmen will be babies. Sophomores will be toddlers. Juniors will be adults. And seniors will be senior citizens. Thursday is character celeb day, dressed up like a celebrity. And Friday is panther day. Any senior that wants to be on the senior float, meet in the media center the first five minutes of lunch. Tastes like Warning, syrup. this might be a little gross for some viewers. I bet you guys are wondering why we're outside filming today. Well, we're going to be here with Mr. Barton and Josh, and they're going to do Hollywood makeup effects for Halloween. For those of you guys that like to do it up really well for Halloween, these guys are going to help you. In today's segment, we're doing fake blood. Mr. Barton? Morning. Just want to thank Josh for a second for helping me out. You're very welcome. A couple of different kinds of blood. Fresh scab. Which... Looks dewy. It is a little bit, but it'll dry. But... Goes on thick. Looks a little brown. <laughs> this is a little old. I've got to get some new. But... Looks like a cut. Looks kind of like a cut. More like a cut would be... Thick blood. Thick blood. Alright. Which is going to... Look a lot like a cut. Looks like it's awesome. Yeah. But you see where the lighter is? Yeah. And then the dark looks deeper. Um, with fresh air, with more time, you can make it look if you want to do 
gashes, cuts, claw marks, whatever, this is what you want. What we're looking at is this stuff. Vampire blood? Vampire. Cheap. Go to some store, buy Halloween blood. This is what they're going to sell you. Now, this is a dollar an ounce. It's probably going to be really oozy. It's very oozy. Ooh. Turn your head slightly. It runs. Most importantly, it tastes awful. <laughs> um, it says on it, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it says on it approved for ages 14 and up. Oh yeah? And you've got to wonder why. And it's because younger kids would put it in their mouth. What we need is something that looks better is cheaper and that, that we can work with. Is that corn syrup? That's corn syrup. So, food product. It's in all of your soda. My grandmother used to use this plain for pancake syrup. Yes. Um, Aunt Jemima adds, I don't know, a little bit of brown sugar. Food coloring? One drop of blue, just enough to darken it. It's kind of expanding. Yeah, it'll mix in with it. One drop of green, and then lots and lots of red. We spaced it out this morning in class, and it was 14 drops of red that we added. And that still wasn't quite dark enough. So you're probably talking 20 to one. So it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Um, you can probably do maybe a quart of fake blood. <clears throat> with those containers. <laughs> that is gnarly. <laughs> um, but, let me see the back of your hand for a second. Oh. <laughs> looks better than? Looks better than this. Yeah, looks better than the fake stuff that we've already bought. Literally, go to the store, pick up several different brands of corn syrup, and just tip it over. However fast or slow it runs, is gonna be how the blood's gonna move. So if you want something like this, it's going to stay in place. Get yeah. something that's real thick. Um, if you want it thinner, so you can do other stuff with it, mix it up. <laughs> One thing, if you're going to have it near clothing, and this is tough. Oh, I'm not going to. That, that, put that in my mouth. One drop. Okay. Just a drop. Mix that in there. Watch a string. It makes it sort of wash out of clothes either. It won't stick. If you've ever left a thing of pancake syrup out and yeah, it, it mats, the soap will help keep it from doing that. It also will help it bubble a little bit. And look what we used. Corn syrup, food product, food coloring, hello cupcakes, and a cleaning agent that we use in all our dishes. Huh. Which... Makes good blood. Makes good blood. And... You guys look like you are enjoying yourselves way too much. <laughs> 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 Let me try it. Hang on. <laughs> that is awesome. Tasty? It actually doesn't taste bad. Not gonna lie. It tastes like. Warning. Yeah. This might be a little gross for some viewers. <laughs> and that is all for your news today. This was Katie, and I'm Josh. Have a wonderful day. Wasn't bad, was it? No.